This video is to teach you about Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Uh, an Excel spreadsheet uh, is software that can help you manage numbers, organize data, and do calculations. On our student computers to access an Excel spreadsheet, we'll do two clicks on student, two clicks on Microsoft Office, and then we're going to do two clicks to Microsoft Office Excel. Um, this is a product of Microsoft Office, just like Word and Publisher and PowerPoint. I'm going to click the X here, just open it up. And as you can see, a spreadsheet is divided or organized into, these are called column headings, and they go um, by letters and these are go go by numbers these are the rows um, and each of these little rectangles is called a cell c-e-l-l -L, cell so um, every cell has a name so if you go across by letter and then down by number uh, if I click like right there okay you will see where it's highlighted so the name of this cell is G 12 and if you look up here it'll tell you the name of the cell that you are currently in uh, so for an example if I click here go ahead and think in your mind what's the name of this cell if you said think it is k4 you're correct if I click down here d27 is the name of this cell so I already know what are you thinking how far do the letters go and how far down do the columns do the rows go well they actually will go quite far and they will go it will go quite far over once you hit um, oh if you keep if you use your right arrow to go over you will see it goes into double letters and then it'll even go into uh, from from AA to AB to AC it'll go to BA B, 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 C, and then C, A, C, B, C, C. So spreadsheets can be quite large and are designed to handle lots and lots of data. Uh, if you look down here too, you have uh, different tabs and you can add additional tabs and you can change the names of these tabs, um, but they will allow you to open up uh, different spreadsheets if you um, want to keep your data kind of separated, but you want to keep it within one file. Okay, so let's take a look at, um, if you notice, your toolbars look kind of somewhat similar to Microsoft Office Word, where it allows you to change font and size and bold and underline, allows you to change your font colors or highlight, uh, uh, some very similar options to Microsoft Office Word. Okay, so yeah, of course, you can type in words right here. So if I wanted to, um, let's just take... Farmer Brown, okay, and Farmer Brown has a, he grows all sorts of things for his crops, and he wants to keep track of his data of how much he grows per month or something like that. Okay, so we're going to title it. We're just going to put our title up here: Farmer Brown and his crops. All right. Now you notice it goes past where the cell ends, and that's okay. Um, you can select it just like you do in a Word document, and you can change um, the font and the size and I'll just change it to this as an example and I'm going to change the size and I'll make it a little bit bigger not that big and there's my undo friend just like in Word and that's still I'm going to go a little smaller than that and as you can tell the part of it part of it is cut off and that's okay if I go here to that bottom part of number one I can drag it down I can drag that line down and it'll increase the height. This is called the cell height. Um, I can also change the width of my columns by dragging that over. Do you see how that works? Uh, and so I can do these for any rows that I want or any columns that I want. All right. I can make these a little bit bigger. All right. And I can even go into, if I wanted to format several cells to be the same width, I can select those columns and click Format, the cells, and then change um, different um, attributes of those, those columns. I'm going to cancel that for right now. Okay, so say for an example, let's start out, um, let's say uh, in May, 
June and July. And let's say he grows tomatoes, uh, corn, and broccoli. Now, did you just say you grow broccoli? Broccoli's good for you. Okay, so let's say in May for tomatoes, let's say he grew 50. So you can put numbers in, and as you'll see, it is right aligning um, the numbers. Okay, so it will do that. For text, it will left align text uh, letters, and for numbers, it's going to right align. So for corn, let's put in here, let's put in some odd looking numbers. Here we go. Uh, and I'm just, you know, obviously making stuff up. All right, and for broccoli. All right. So the beauty of a spreadsheet is if I asked you in the three months uh, for Farmer Brown how many tomatoes did he grow, you would know to add up the 50, 100, and the 150. And you could do that easily in your head. Uh, I didn't say 300. But as you see, some of these numbers are not as easy to do in your head. Or think about a spreadsheet that had this completely filled out and you wanted to quickly know. Uh, how many total tomatoes did Farmer Brown grow in those three months? Well, if you want the, the um, to add, to put the answer right here in this cell, it would make sense coming across to put it right here uh, in kind of a table format. There is a formula that I can use to put in. Now, I can go ahead and put in here to add up and add uh, tell the spreadsheet to add up B3C. 3 and D3 okay I can do that or it has a really quick function here this is called an auto sum oh, it's a funny looking little E isn't it isn't it and if I click that it's going to automatically assume it's going to look at it and say hmm if she's wanting to put in a sum here she's probably wanting to add these three numbers and that would be correct so I'm going to go ahead and click enter and as you can see, it puts it right in there for me. So let's do the same thing here. Same thing here. All right. So if I go here, like say, what if I said, okay, I want to know how much Farmer Brown grew in total for the month of May. I can put it right here. And, the, and if I click the auto sum, it's going to guess. Are you wanting to add these three numbers? And I'm going to click enter and um, it will do it for me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you because sometimes uh, the computer it may guess the wrong uh, data that you're wanting to add. And you can actually go ahead and tell it what cell addresses you want to add up. So you have to start your formula by typing an equal sign, okay? And that tells the spreadsheet, hey, we're getting ready to do a formula. So I'm going to do equals and I'm going to do C3 and then a plus sign and C4 and a plus sign and C5 and hit enter and it will add it up for me and as you can see when you when you're on that cell it'll tell you right here in this line what exactly is going on what's being added so you can see what's involved in that number if I click here you will see that it's put in a formula and you say hmm the B4 is not there well you can do that so if I I can type that same kind of a format right there and uh, if I make it look, I have to make it look exactly the same. So I'm going to do equals and sum, equals, sum, and then an open parentheses. And it gives me a hint. You want to put in the first number that you want to add. And I can do a number or I, can, or I can put in a cell address. So my cell address here is going to be, if you're already thinking, it's D3. You're correct. And then if I put a colon, um, it will go ahead and I can add, put the very ending cell of D5 there and it will add it up for me. Okay, so say I had, uh, maybe I had 20 columns, so I would put it, so I would have put in D3 to D20 uh, or whatever the ending, um, the bottom cell is and it would add up any of that data. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and click auto sum. And it could have done either way for this one. It could have said, oh, hmm, is she going to try to add up all of these or is she going to add across to all of these? Either way, should my number be the same? And if you say yes, you would be correct. 
All right, so hopefully you can see part of the beauty of a spreadsheet is that it can add up uh, quite a few numbers for you uh, very quickly with a snap of a finger. The other really nice thing about a spreadsheet is that say for an example, Farmer Brown realizes that he put in a number wrong in May for broccoli that he was wrong that wasn't 233. Maybe he messed up on the numbers and maybe it was really um, 433. So if you go and you change it, Watch what happens when I type enter. You'll watch there and you'll watch there. Let's see if those numbers will change. And they did automatically just like that. So that formula uh, uh, will stay the same in there and it will continue adding what's ever in these cells no matter uh, how many changes you make to it. It will automatically um, recalculate it for you which is really nice okay so we talked to you about the sum formula uh, or function I also want to talk to you about some more another function that's very handy that uh, you may want to use from time to time and that's an average function let's see I'm gonna put right here I'm gonna put a title for total and over here, maybe you want to calculate an average. Uh, we do that a lot with numbers, right? When we want to know what is the average, like if Farmer Brown wanted to say on average over those three months, how many tomatoes on average did he grow? There is a formula in there for average. Um, to do that, okay, to do that, there is a uh, part right here you may have noticed this already obviously that looks very different from a word document uh, this is called the function if you click click right there it is going to pop up a box of choices all right so you may already see on here average so I'm going to click average and I'm going to click OK and it's asking me well which ones do you want to I'm gonna move this over so I can see what uh, where do you want to start what is exactly you know are you trying to average so I want to average just these three which is B3 C3 and D3 so I'm going to change this because it guessed that I wanted to include E3 in there and I don't want to that won't be a valid um, number because that's a total that's not uh, a monthly number so I'm going to change that to D and it's telling me over here this is what we're this is what are in those cells is that what you're wanting to average and it's going to return uh, a uh, an answer for that function so I'm going to click OK and it's telling me already it's going to be a hundred and if that looks right to you and you say yeah that's exactly what I'm looking for I'm going to click OK and you'll see that it's put it in there and there's the formula right there equals the average and the in the cells that it averaged Here's another beauty of uh, using a spreadsheet. Just like in the Word document, you can copy and paste. You can also copy and paste in a um, in a spreadsheet. So instead of having to go into each one and changing the function, uh, the cell addresses in the function, I can say I want you to copy that and copy it down into these cells. So I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to left click and drag. I'm going to hold down my left click and hold it on those two cells and then I'm going to right click paste and it automatically copied this formula of the average but look how it changed oh it should have changed I thought it would change let me fix that it's supposed to be um, no it didn't sorry that is correct B4 through D4 it averaged those three numbers and that's the answer for that for this uh, average, it went to B5 to D5, B5 to D5, and averaged those three numbers. Um, the other thing that you can do in a spreadsheet is maybe you don't want to have it broken down into the thousands decimal place. We just want to round it up. So I can actually take and select cells and click Format those cells and I can change it to do uh, I can round it up I can put it in currency like if I was adding dollars so I would add like the dollar sign I'm gonna keep a um, I'm gonna click number and then it asks me how many decimal places I want so I'm gonna change it to zero and click OK and there it is rounded it up for me I don't have to do it it will automatically do that even if I go in and I change this number to 523 It'll continue figuring that average and will continue rounding it. Okay, you may exit out of this video and please go to video number two. Thank you.